roommates. So y'all don't have to get my glass of wine. Work stressing me out. Roommate stressing me out. Then she won't bring her brother into the picture. Like, what are you doing, sis? Like, it's not that deep. Like, she really had to call her brother. But anyway, let me get my sip in. Hold on. So I've been reading the comments and everything. And some of y'all saying, you know, I'm wrong over like that. How I let roommate, I mean, I'm sorry. How I let my crush come in here and destroy and be disrespectful and go in the refrigerator. Baby, what's mine is his. So you just going to deal with it or not. But how would y'all feel if someone took your shirt, took your shirt, and then lying about it. Like, I mean, come on. Like, you got to see it from our perspective or his perspective that, like, roommate took his shirt and then want to lie and say that she didn't have it. Like, you will go crazy, too, and be like, well, my shirt did because I paid for that shirt, so I want what belongs to me. So, I don't feel like, I mean, maybe I am kind of wrong because, you know, I am loyal to my roommate and I do love my roommate, but... I felt like that I wasn't in the wrong. Like, he, she basically stole it. Like, in a sense, if you, that's what we're talking about. Sorry, y'all. Today was so stressful. I know. But I just had to come on here and, like, you know, get my side of the story how I feel. Then I feel like she the one started making clown jokes, making videos, talking about him, saying he can't rap and everything. Like, you started with us. So now it's World War Three. It's up. And now you really want to get your brother in this? Like, come on now. Like, sis, it's not even that deep. Roommate. I'm about to call you in here and ask you, like, know how you like how you really felt. What you recording yourself? What you mean? Yeah, like, why you had to go get your brother? Like, you ain't see how he was rampaging through the house in him, like tearing up everything the dude put his hands on me, basically. But I mean, like, he got seven hands in one, and I'm not about to let him mix me with them fat ass fingers. See, look, there she go again. Like, you know, talking about him, like you started with us, like. Come on, like, anybody can see this. Like, Lord. She being so, like, inconsiderate. Like, you took this man's shirt. I just don't get it. Not, not a brother in the situation. Oh, yeah. Then, but I just had to come on here and just tell y'all how I feel and why I let my crush do that, you know, and where I'm coming from with the situation. Okay, but, okay, but the thing is, you still ain't answer because now, now you got me involved because I was really in that mind of my business. Okay, but you still ain't answer why you let your crush do that, though. I so said I let him do that because how would you feel somebody stole something from you? It was in my closet. So but it's it still his shirt, go. though. It's still his shirt. You're supposed to give people stuff back, right? Kaepernick. Let me explain something to you, sweetheart. You're not funny. I'm not trying to be funny, sweetheart. I don't have to. I'm just saying to you. Here's what I'm saying. Listen to me and open up your ears. What I'm saying to you is... His closet was in my space. So if we do math and divide the rent by the square mileage in this apartment, I'm, I own some of this space up in here. And his shirt was in it. If he want to pay the two cents for that space, then cool. But he owed me about a dollar by now. So you're not going to give him his shirt back? That ain't even his shirt. It's his dead grandpa's. No, his dad, grandpa gave him that shirt. It's getting hot here. His dad, grandpa gave him that shirt. Yes. I heard him when he said that, but what I'm trying to tell you is that it should have never even been in my closet. You trying to say, I get it wasn't even on your side of the closet. It was on my side of the closet. And you took it. 
that was my side of the closet. But anyway, we ain't gonna even go there. But what I'm saying to you is that you're trying to tell me, because I heard you when, once I walked out of here the first time, I heard what you said. You you trying to tell them, hey, uh, my God. You trying to tell them that you justify what he did because basically I stole his shirt. Yes, and you started first. You started with the clown joke. <laughs> That's not funny. I wasn't a joke. I'm dead ass serious. He a clown. How he a clown? You sitting here telling me I'm joking. I'm not playing though. Like, but I you started You, you, like, you I didn't started, started nothing. everything. Like, yes, you did. I started. You, you basically mad because I got a crush. That's all it is. You done got me pooping on my knees. And you stunned so you can get out. Who paid for this bed? Me. You did not pay for this bed. Come on now. If I want to stay in here right now and hop on this bed, I really could. You could hop out. Oh my God. <laughs> you smell like rotten eggs. Didn't I tell you to get out? Yeah, y'all. So that's what I wanted to come on here and tell y'all and explain my side of the story and tell y'all how I feel about the situation and why I let it go down the way I did.